Well, my ass can't sit there. I can get some shrines and you spirit dusters. You think those are voodoo dolls over there? They hanging out. <laughs> and see the branches next to them. The branches and the... They gonna crawl down. See, I haven't seen that movie. Let me show you the voodoo dolls. Oh, there ain't no voodoo dolls. They um. Like this is my baby. Movie. This is my, my baby. She is a nut. <laughs> <laughs> a nut in my head. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. I'm over here looking at these damn voodoo dolls. <laughs> Let me show you the voodoo dolls. <laughs> then she got the, the little duster sticks on the floor. <laughs> See the voodoo, the voodoo dolls on the So if you do not feel protected in here, then <laughs> something wrong with your spirit. <laughs> and they are. They're my, my, my make a wish sticks, my ones. She got ones. Y'all, she really a witch. That's why I come over here. So I can be protected. Be. Yeah, you crazy. <laughs> we just got through watching this series, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that was a good, good series. Like that. Yes, you know, Mother's Gardens, it's a must, ladies. Cause not just ladies, men need to watch it too so they can get in touch with their feminine side. What the dog? <laughs> she wants us to get to the phone. Never do a moment. Never do a moment. She got me over here with these booty dolls. I've seen that movie, Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I never thought, they look, I go, go, go over there and get one of them little dolls. Touching them shit. Yeah, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are little dolls that bring in the season. See, they, from a distance, when I'm like, they like little, little black dolls. <laughs> She you got scarecrows. Yeah, this is scarecrow. Just look at that. She's the scare off them things <laughs> with the sticks. Because, y'all, it is not fall season. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? My dreams had gotten so bad. Not bad, but I hate to have dreams. I really do. You don't know if they really are. Yeah, and I went and got me a... Ward off the spirits. What is that thing you call uh, a dream? A dream catcher. I got a dream catcher. And did you make it? No, I went and got it on Amazon for eight dollars. I used to keep one, but Sunny ate up my dream catcher. So how did that help your dreams? Did it, I don't did have it calm the, them down. It calm them down. I don't have the oh prophetic dreams and all. I don't like so the, doing do that. those because I have a lot of those and I see a lot of stuff before. We should go struggle with the damn bag. I like threw over that <laughs> shirt while ago. Y'all should have seen her trying to get out that I'm shirt. Sure. I'm just sitting here like. I'm trying to pull the shirt off. Oh, it's funny, but you know, you just, you know I'm glad she was here because I've been 911 somebody. I, just, I can't get out of my <laughs> I just sit here and watch, like, the, you know how you do the little kids. Like, they don't figure it out. Here's Sonny. Oh, God. Between Sonny and the voodoo dog. The voodoo dog. <laughs> no, you say. You got voodoo dolls. <laughs> Y'all, oh. from a distance, they look like them little black. They yeah. look like the little, little, from a distance, look. They only look like the little black <laughs> things on Tales from the Hood. You have to see it like I did. Tales from the Hood. Oh, girl, you crazy. But I'm on. Um, the uh, dream catcher has really helped me in my dreams. Cause, you know, need to get me in. Remember I told you about when Keith died? Remember when we was all sitting here? And we were talking about NG dying. And then I said, ooh, I had a dream that I was talking to Bill on the phone. Mm -hmm. I said, that means somebody's going to die. And three people. And he said, ooh, I hope it's not me. And I said, don't worry about it. But the next week, he gone. Gone. And, him, and then after that, Christina died. Yeah. I said, Lord, I don't want to have them kind of dreams no more. And I have them a lot, and I just don't want to have them. Get you a dream catcher. I got to get a green check because it be about my daughter. And Your baby. I don't like I don't like what I see. But I've seen so many visions, and I know so much, and it comes to fruition. And sometimes it can be so scary when you see those premonitions, and they come to light. Yeah. And some people I know have it stronger than others and you just I keep saying I'm going to write them down when I see them but some of them be so scary you don't want to write it down because you don't want it to ever happen uh, do you, are these visions or dreams it's got to be visions because I don't never dream when I'm asleep and you don't remember I'm always dream. awake I don't remember my dreams so when you see these things you are awake I'm awake I always awake when I see my premonitions and they come to 
to light, I'm gonna wait. I don't and know. when they come to, when they when they start, when they happen at that moment, it's like, oh shit, that's what that means. Like, but at yeah, the moment, you it get could be months later, so it's yeah. like. I always say I need to start just writing it down. When it happens. So when it happens. And then you go back and say. Real or not. But if it happens, it's like, see, I saw that. And you saw it before it happened. Yeah, and date it. I used to do it. that. Date it and you go back to it. And I used to do that so much. It came true so much. And I, I had a lot of regret. I said, that's a waste of time because I can't stop it from happening. You can't stop it from so happening. So what's the, what's the. Why do I know it? But it, I think it, it would probably make you feel better, or myself feeling better, like so I can understand when I'm driving down the street and this future thing passes before me, and when it actually happens, you'd be like, okay, that's what they meant. Like I could oh. be in a situation, I'm outside or doing something, and I'm like, damn, I just thought of this not too long ago, but then. I guess it'll bring it to the realization at that moment as opposed to your brain saying that I really think of this or see this before it happened. Oh, okay. So so it's just you have a, a connection with what you've already seen. But see, a lot of times when this happening, you are a uh, pencil and paper just not readily available. You got your cell phone. Oh, okay. Like now, just I get to a point phone? where I have to pretty much text me my grocery list because I can put it on a sticky note oh, and I lose the sticky note. It, yeah. I done lost it in the car and don't find it till later so when well, I get to the grocery store. To do. If I learned how to work my cell phone, I would do that. Yeah, millennials. Yeah, what's y'all baby boomers? Baby, yeah, I'm baby boomers. <laughs> she, yeah, she don't even like to touch her remote. Like, I'm trying to show her the pause button <laughs> on this damn remote. She I went to like the other arrows at the top. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the arrows at the bottom, so See, she can just why push. Why do they power. do that? How come they don't say pause? Like they got all because these drones. Everything on there. It's stupid. Only thing I see is settings, sleep, and info in English. The rest of it, a whole bunch of arrows. I don't get that. That's I, the old people shit. Yeah, I didn't say the word pause. You got it right there. Look where pause. That ain't pause. That's three lines. That's two lines. That's the pause. That's look on your phone. Two. So that's what that means. Pause. The bar is what? the square is stop. Rewind fast forward. So that's what that means. Think of a VCR. VCR. You used probably to have scared of word. that too. No, we had words on the VCR. They had kindness to put the words on there. I got all these arrows, and and I get in Tony's car. Got all these arrows. What the hell? How come it don't say up and down? <laughs> I can't do it. I'm intimidated. I've learned stuff. if you, cause I, if you over sixty, <laughs> these sixty and older, <laughs> they don't want nothing to do with this technology. Oh, no. I'm not texting. I'm not what's this like, button. I, you know, I'm not I, GPS and I'm just oh, no, to get directions. Is, oh, I, I can't do that. But I can. I'm learning how to text and and put oh, those see, little emojis in there. See you. You coming up? But, is, your, is your text messaging free though? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I never know. You know, you paying for the bill. Yeah, I, well, I guess it may be unlimited because she she kind of new age, so it's unlimited. So it, it text costs you money. Not it shouldn't cost any more, but Can't I know girl. some people that didn't want to text because because it costs still money. on the original plan. Yeah, I have to because you know, still everything have, is unlimited. I they still have, have my my landline phone. I, I ain't gonna play around like that. <laughs> now, the only thing about when you over over sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord, I'm so glad she's here because girl, that shirt had me just yeah. And we should have recorded that because I'm sitting here like I called myself. I had a, I had on two shirts, and this the shirt that I got on is really a gown, and the sleeve was showing. I said, "Oh, let me pull this off." So I take one sleeve. Yeah, this the bad show. Yeah, this is my bad shoulder, and I managed to get this sleeve out of there. And the gown was here. It's still on because my breast so huge I can't pull it down. <laughs> And then this arm was up. I this couldn't feel like this. <laughs> For a good couple of minutes, I'm just looking at her like, <laughs> she going to start sweating in a minute. <laughs> she can't get out. I say, hey, and I ain't moved. You kept on talking. I said, don't she see I'm struggling <laughs> over here? 
Then, you know, you be trying to help people. And they be like, I don't need your help. So oh. I just help those who help oh, themselves. Said, she was doing just fine. Like, <laughs> hey, Mary, you're going to have to redo that. How, do, how did you do that? You said I don't know. Now she got to see. I told she go out take one boo, put it over yeah, there. Yeah, I got the breast. Here, the gown. This is the neck of the gown. So it's just sitting right here. Right here. Y'all, mark my words. She's going to take this one off. Is she sleeping in there? <laughs> Like, y'all yeah, take this one off. But She's I got to get my arm back in there. I'm going to get this. Me and Sunday going to have to figure that one out. I'm going to be in home. I'm taking my top off. <laughs> You're going to take your top off. Yeah. And when I had a surgery, I got to get me some clothes. It's gone. You need to get tell them you need like a stack of hospital gowns so you just pop them. Pop them off. off. Yeah, because it's and getting in a... Open it up so you can pee. And yeah. Ooh. Find you a comfortable spot and... Oh, we have to get you some pamphlets. Just prepare yourself with some pamphlets. You wrong? Because you know what? For the future, if you can't, if I can't, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of bed. Because you use your arms to get out of bed. You need a Medicare. Do they have one of them lift up beds? Yeah, that's cost some money. Oh, what the hell is this? It's a hospital bed. But if I could fix, I might have to just sleep sitting up. And that way, I'm yeah, just have to get to up. It in. Yeah, instead of trying to pull myself and then you get your pamphlets. And then you know, you gotta go to the bathroom. Girl, yeah, who gonna come? I mean, you and Marquis gonna come change well, the pamphlets? I, I had that episode to change the pamphlets. I can't change old people's pamphlets no more. <laughs> <laughs> Not in my job description. <laughs> <laughs> All my life again. And, and you know, you know, Tony <laughs> was, ain't gonna do it. Tony that was traumatic. Be, Tony be like, bitch, you better go uh -uh, get to the Tom, nurse over Tom, there. <laughs> Tony ain't gonna do it. He, he not already told me, he said, Mama. We know. told those lies about we'll change your pamper. Yeah, they ain't gonna lie. do that. I don't know how to, I don't know. So, parents, <laughs> do not listen to your kids. <laughs> and do not tell your children, I used to change your pamper. Because we're not doing it. Y'all ain't doing it. No. we. I, I had that episode. And oh, Lord. That was traumatic. I bet it is. It was traumatic. Because oh, I remember my daddy. I had to clean him up. It was very traumatic. That's traumatic. And he was embarrassed, too. Get your life in I order for so you like Seeing him naked like that. Yeah. That was, was like, That's oh, like, God. And you're supposed to take care of your parents, but... I, I stuff went all balled up and hairy and gray and when we were <laughs> baby, like don't nobody want to do that shit, man. I forgot. I forgot it's gonna be balled up we and was gray. fresh and new, yeah, not new, wrinkled clean. and all that. Ugh. Oh Lord, have mercy. So parents. Get your life in order so <laughs> your kids ain't got to change the powers because <laughs> it's traumatic. But you know what? At the hospital, if I can't do it on my own, they'll put me in a rehab. Oh, they've done that before when I had that oh, illness. Yeah, remember I came uh, to see you? Yeah, I was in a nursing home. So. <laughs> well, Tony, <laughs> <laughs> make Lord. that decision for your mama because you're going to be over here changing pamphlets. Oh, God. <laughs> you and James going to be changing pamphlets. Him and James, that's y'all <laughs> job. <laughs> Oh, Call me, I put the trash out. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you get, the, you know what I do? I just won't eat, then I won't boo boo. You still gonna boo boo? You know how many colonic, colonoscopies you done had, and some still comes out when yeah. you think you finish. But so, if you be constipated, you know I don't or really. I don't go to the bathroom. Then you gonna be I right back know, at the emergency room. I don't boo boo, room. but uh, three times a week. You know I don't like using spoons over here either. Are <laughs> <laughs> you wrong? So, uh, you gonna have to figure oh, that one out. Oh Lord, yeah, Percy. Because if you get backed up, then you gonna be right back at the Show nursing up, home. Back at the nursing home. Oh, I gotta get my life in order. Get your life in order. I had a surgery at the end of August. Oh, I'm gonna learn how to get up out of the bed. That's what. I yeah, you probably have to like put. Practicing. I would put it like in a brace. I got a sling and start and practicing hole, start not practicing using how to, it. How to get up out of the bed? Because in reality, you really gonna have to. You might need a walker. I got that. Or you're going to have to spend some time in their recline over there. And at what now point do you see the recline over there, the, the handle is on the right side. So I can't even uh, use mm. the handle to get up. We'll figure it out. I, yeah, we'll figure I hope I don't be. Because ain't nobody changing pants. Yeah. No, we ain't got, I ain't going to do no pants. Because you know, with them to pee. You be chafing and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Then somebody got a real discipline on them. Ooh, that baby wipes and 
That's, nope. that's when you get like that, you be saying, Lord, come take me away. <laughs> he come like, a like cow here, gun. Like, Lord. Nope, I'm not ready. I'm that's what hell. he gonna say. Now you got to suffer a little more. <laughs> he going to say, I'm not ready. <laughs> I, I thought, girl, I thought you going to be my friend. You called me Amy. I love you to death. <laughs> Shit, I changed my other Amy Pampers and all night. Oh, I forgot Mildred. Ooh. Ooh. You sure did do that. And Mildred be cussing me out when you're trying to clean well, up. Well, she ain't cuss, but she... I cussed I her out. That's what I did. I cussed her that, out. That was traumatic. She so, was mean, man. I'm going to say it again. This is a public service announcement. <laughs> PSA. Uh. PSA. Get your shit together. Parents, shitty asses. We will not be watching, wiping. PSA. No, because if that ain't your job. Mm -hmm. That's why they have nurses, nurses aides and yeah. nurses. And you need to set up your Medicare, Medicaid, well, insurance. Ain't that what Marquee, tell Marquee that's what his job is, ain't it? <laughs> I'm not physically <laughs> traumatized my child. <laughs> nope, nope, Marquee, nope. they gonna pay you to do that. Mm -mm, nope, nope. <laughs> he gonna be like, ain't it? You gonna be itching. <laughs> <laughs> That ain't he my works, job, do that. He works to me like, is that, that is not my say, job. Shit. I'm no. here to get y'all medicine, take you to the store. Yeah, he'll do all he'll that. Get some groceries. Take you to the doctor. He ain't gonna change no pound. My baby, he'd be like, change the pound. Shit, I quit. <laughs> yeah, he say, I quit. Ain't enough money in the world. <laughs> Lord, I'm gonna do a, a practice run. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you're gonna have to put your arm in a sling. Put it in a sling and, and see how I can maneuver. Just maneuver. Because I got the bed rail. Try for a week without using your right arm. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, your, that's your dominant hand, too, ain't it? That's my dominant. Damn. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Because I got this big old sling you wrap around and it's got a pillow. That hangs around your worst waist. The one you had from the last year. Yeah, I got so, that one. So get that a try for a couple I'm gonna of days. I'm going to try that because, man. Because when the time comes, you ain't going to have no choice. You got to get up and run to the bathroom. You can't be trying to struggle and pull. And, and don't be holding it to the last minute. The last minute. Ooh, it's bad, ain't it? Because then you got to bathe. Ooh, that's <laughs> <a little up. laughs> oh, we, were just, we were just talking about earlier, like, don't nobody want to be alone and like when you get older sometimes you think about i've been thinking about dang i ain't in a relationship i don't have nobody to take care of me if i get old i swear to god my kids the way i'm talking about her i'm be sitting over there and my ass gonna be itching because <laughs> <laughs> they be like mama we on our way and they not gonna show, they up. Gonna show up but if you got a good partner then and that's your that. partner he, he'll take care that's of that's that sickness and help yeah that's what's what what you and know, i would do it for my partner yeah your husband but, you saying sickness and health to death do you but i'm not like married stuff, of just a partner that's the living a living but shacking see, up uh, shacking up when you get sick he gone that's what but it, what if he gets sick first you're gonna want him to go <laughs> <laughs> somebody gotta go you tell his sister, I ain't married to you now. You, <laughs> you become good as ass. That's the way they go. So Sad. marriage is the bond, the bond that keep you together. All right, and that's why uh, other cultures are so adamant about their partners. Yeah. And I think we lack that here in America. Like the commitment and the partnership Ooh. and the cultures that marry that you know you married to them right and then you, you love stay them. true to that situation no matter what no matter what i mean i don't uh, condone you staying committed to an abusive situation no but some people even through because of culture reasons they stay committed but then at the end of the day if one don't get sick somebody got to wipe each other ass. that's right that's what you that's what you want kids, and especially if you get a certain age you get a certain age your kids they all going on about their lives and, and, and we got to be thankful for nursing homes because you know this ms that, that i have i'm so thankful my ms is not dead but just think if you had to be in there doing corona oh god that's hard you wouldn't have came home because mm -mm, they killed off a whole God, a whole generation, generation of people. Of that kid people. a whole generation of old people. They're still dying, By too. themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, now you don't want that. So, I don't know. See, look at that. That booger is swollen. It's hurting. But she got that arm out that sleeve, too. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Yeah, but, you know, I had a lot of room, and it just came on out. Maybe your arm, because it's already separated. Maybe it's so. Just it right just on. came on out. Maybe it's a baby. Ooh.
sure. So yeah, make sure I, you, I ain't took my meds. Make sure you shoot that video when you get ready to take that top off. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> but I, I was so stuck. Oh, God, I was yeah, I was just she just <laughs> start sweating. I'm like, she gonna figure it out. She gonna get it. <laughs> The more I do it, the more you act like you didn't, you didn't come into my rescue. <laughs> Girl, don't you see? I'm struggling over him. <laughs> she didn't ask for help, so I, I, I kept those you, help. What them. made you see I was struggling? I was look. I just noticed your arm was here, but baby, you just stayed at trying. It was just like this. She was like, and I'm just looking like, she gonna get, she gonna get. <laughs> Oh Lord, <laughs> she like, that big you ain't gonna help. No, you got it, baby. <laughs> but you did end up helping. I had to because you, you about to need some Xanax. <laughs> some something. Oh, look about a panic attack for real. That's strange. Hey, you just sitting up doing something, and all of a sudden, you just in a bad situation. I ain't even in the car, and I'm sitting here on the sofa. That's to sad. Up. It's just I think we suppress so much shit. <laughs> That's why I feel like a lot of black women are getting dementia. Cause is that what it is? I think our brains are tired and we just don't want to think anymore. Wow. So I when I got my arm all stuck like that? You just stop thinking. Because you knew how to get out the hole. You just stop. Because your brain was like, oh, I'm just a panic. I did. I, and you know what? And I see Marquis Marquis be with me and... I can't find the door key in the, in my purse, and I just panic. He said, "Mary, you just had the door key." I said, "Well, I can't find it." <laughs> <laughs> he'll he'll pull the car over because he's driving. And I'm panicking. <laughs> he'll say, hey, "Mary, the key is in your car, in your purse." And I say, "Oh, baby, I can't. I gotta stop, man." You just have to <laughs> breathe through it. It's there. It's yeah, there. it's there. But I'm, you know, I get the same way sometimes. I can't find certain stuff, and it it it, it bothers me that like what the fuck? I know I just walked yeah, in here just and I just had it. Like it's really getting to a point. You got your keys, you got your phone, you got your yeah, purse. Your check for That's your ID. Yeah. Check for your credit card. Check for oh, I need some something to drink. I need a snack. I always because I gotta water. have because I run out of nails when I'm driving because I need some nerves. Really? Right? I run out of skin because I start oh, lighting the skin. Nails? I eat my nails. Oh, you sure do, baby. I eat baby. my skin. You my eat nails it down gone. to the quick. Mm -hmm. Oh God. And then when I run out of that, like I gotta have some little apple or something. I, I didn't something. know you ate your nails. I've been eating my like nails that. for a long time. Every time I go to nail shop, you want nails done? I'm like, what am I gonna chew? Like, why would I pay $60 to get fake nails? Yeah, you can't. Oh, you bite your fake nails off? I never, I don't do it. Oh, you don't get it. Never defeat the purpose, because I've been a bit all at a credit card. This is my baby. She's so much like her mother. I, it just, I mean, Dyer, this is Dyer's baby. Oh, man, nah, Dyer's a good friend. Yeah, you are. I'm, you. I'm a little tougher than her, but, you know, yeah, she Yeah, Dyer's was sweet. She I, she I. I'm, I'm was, Dyer's was my girl. I miss her so much. Me too. It's been 18 it's years. been 18 years. Last week was 18. Oh my god, she just it never goes away. From it before. don't, it won't. Cause how long people, your mom been dead? Oh, I can't even count. She died in 1971. Ooh, so, she, how long is so that? So, that's like I was born in 75. So, that was four years. Mm -hmm. So, 50 years because she, she when she died, that's been 50 years. 50 it's 2021. Years. I, I when she died in 71, mm -hmm. I cried every day. 